well I made over my kitchen <laughs> and I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of how I did it so recently I painted my kitchen cabinets tiled my backsplash and painted over my laminate countertops after watching enough YouTube videos, seeing enough reels on Instagram, and getting inspired through Pinterest, I took the plunge and I just did it. Okay, so today's the day. And I'm not gonna second guess it. I'm not gonna doubt myself. I'm just gonna do it. Today I am painting my kitchen cabinets and I have on my paint clothes. Oh. I have on my paint clothes. And I'm ready to get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all the doors off the cabinets, um, try to bag everything up and then start prepping. So let's go ahead. So here is what we're working with. Just regular counter uh, cabinets and then some over here. So I'm gonna take all of these off and go ahead and sand them and prep them and prime them and then these are the colors that we're choosing from when we're thinking about going this dark right here and this color is seal skin by sherwin williams so, let's get started soda but for some reason today I'm like craving a coca-cola oh my god it's been so long since I had a soda this is so good All right. honestly I just can't wait to have a nice painted kitchen and everything is installed and I want to go through and organize everything and I just can't wait to, you know, feel like I have a brand new kitchen. <laughs> Ooh, I look crazy. <laughs> Anyways, our garbage is in a cabinet as well. So let me show you. See if I can show you without uh, showing you the trash because all of this is really gross um this is what the previous people had in here when we bought the house when you pull it out it's just a trash but because this is really disgusting all around here and all behind there and just everything is like really old anyways i bought a new one off of amazon and it actually is two of these that instead of fitting this way it'll be one and two and it's not like this little white thing that's attached up here it's actually like a chrome that you attach to the bottom. So it'll just be two trash cans like that. And I'm hoping that will keep everything neater and less disgusting. So that will be here in a couple days. So I'm hoping by the time I'm finished with all of the cabinets, it will be here. I can go ahead and install it once the cabinet door is completed. Y'all, I just took the the cabinet door off of the trash can. And when I say it is so disgusting, I'm happy it's getting replaced. Look at it. First of all, this was the back of the cabinet door. Ew. There's no telling how long all that's been here. It was attached to this. How disgusting. I am gonna take these doors outside and start the prepping. Um, and I'll show you what I got to prep. I did a lot of research, so. These cabinets better come out right. That's all I know, because this is a lot of work. In my last house, I did the cabinets and it literally took me two weeks and I used the Rust-Oleum kit. 
and it chipped after like six months and I just didn't feel like going back over it. So I want these cabinets to come out looking as good as possible. I'll show you the supplies I got, the research I did, and those Prady's cabinets come out great because I'm tired already. <laughs> and all I've done was taking the cabinet doors down. So, all right, so here's all the hardware. I put it in this bag. Um, I went ahead and marked all of them. I know on some videos they mark them like A, B, C, one, two, three, but I marked mine based on what we keep in the cabinet itself, just because uh, it's just easier for me. <laughs> so when I pick this up, I know that this goes to the left door of the plates where we keep the plates and in the middle. And I also marked the same thing on the door so I know where the door goes so this is where we keep the plates and this door goes on the left side so i don't lose track of anything and i know exactly where to put everything back so that's that i am going to take these doors outside and all right so i got all the door hinges off and i have all the cabinets just laid out in the garage like so and oh i need to remove that one door knob but i'm gonna go ahead and clean them up get like these little rubber stoppers off and then start priming all right so to clean i bought tsp so i'm just gonna mix it in some water and then i i bought two sanders i didn't know i probably won't use the um you have an electric one but you have to plug it in no, it just seemed like it'll be a hassle so i might just go through a hand scrub um our hand sand all the cabinets and for the primer Vincer bin I heard this one was the best I was gonna buy the Zenser one two three but I heard this one was the best primers I probably should have bought the shellac one now that I'm thinking about it oh this is a shellac base okay so yeah um I'm gonna go through and paint two coats of this on the front and the back also keep in mind that I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> All I know is from research I've done and other YouTube videos I've watched. No judgment. <laughs> so change of plans. According to the directions on this primer, it's saying to not use TSP. So. I'm not running back out to the store today to get crud cutter, but I do have a deglosser from Rust-Oleum, so I'm just gonna thoroughly clean everything with this deglosser and wipe everything down with warm water, and hopefully that'll do the trick. quality of light but it's dark out so I just have the garage light on but all of the cabinets have been cleaned I cleaned the trim on the inside of the actual kitchen so now what I'm about to do is sand now the only problem is I think I got the wrong size sanding paper this is 120, I think. What I saw was recommended was like 220 or something. I don't know, but, and another thing is I don't have a cordless sander. I just have this thing, oh, which is really cheap and I gotta plug it in somewhere. So I don't know how all this is gonna work, but I'm gonna find me a mask and I don't know, see what I can do. Try to do one cabinet at a time over here by an outlet and yeah, see how that goes. <laughs> don't judge my mask, guys. <laughs> this is the only one I can find. All right. it is 
to sand. Sanding the doors is done. I'm about to go sand the trim, clean up, wipe everything down good. And I'm gonna try to paint primer tonight. I don't know, we'll see, depending on how late it's getting because it's already starting to get a little dark. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go get me some water because I am hot. All right, so all the cabinets have been taped off. Just taped around there and down here. Oh, look at that mess. And finally now, after like six hours of prepping, I am about to start priming. So I'm gonna try to get two coats done tonight. If I can't get two coats done tonight, I will get at least get, for sure get one and then come back in the morning and do a second coat of primer. I already sanded and wiped down everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I look crazy. kitchen and this is what I got done last night my husband helped me out because it was like one o'clock in the morning and yeah you girl was getting tired so I decided what I'm going to do is to keep the this side of the cabinets white and I think I'm going to paint that a dark I don't know we just gonna see so I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat of primer on all of the cabinet doors. to do white I know basic I know but I just want something clean so I went with the Sherwin Williams emerald urethane something in the color alabaster and so I'm gonna do all these cabinets in alabaster and then in on the island I'm doing the color seal skin which is the original color i was going to paint all the cabinets it's like the dark gray brown undertone looking color dark island light cabinets hopefully it turns out good we'll see with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and start painting i'm probably gonna start inside and then do the doors last or maybe I should do the doors first and then come inside and then do the back side of it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, so it's actually the next day. I didn't record myself painting with actual paint yesterday because I just got really frustrated almost to the point that I wanted to break down and cry. <laughs> the level of frustration was so high. The rollers, I used a roller brush to put on the actual paint. And everywhere that I saw, I recommended that you get um, velour brushes. 
but the velour brushes were trash they left a really weird texture on the cabinets it just didn't look good so i was getting really frustrated with that and then it was a bunch of different other things so i just knocked it out and did what i could today i am going to paint the front sides of the cabinets and then that'll be it um i'm actually at home depot right now i'm about to go in and get some cabinet pulls i'm thinking of going black but i don't know we'll see the faucet and the kitchen sink and all that is like silver so i don't know if i should do silver or black but i don't know we'll see the prices when i get in here yeah, i'm gonna get these get me a coffee and go back home and do the front side of the cabinets so hopefully i'll be done today um and yeah that's all we're doing so Alrighty, so I bought some cabinet pulls. I'm back home. <clears throat> this is what I did yesterday. This is the color that's on the island, and then I did all the kitchen cabinets white, and I'll show you what the inside looks like. So this is the kitchen white, and then I painted the island that seal skin, and then we decided to go ahead and wrap it all the way around. So the, the whole island is in silk skin. I'm probably gonna do one more coat to fill in those sparse areas, but yeah. So today is gonna be easier. I'm just gonna paint the front sides of these. And after they dry, then we can reinstall everything and put the knobs on and then we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna wipe everything down with a tack cloth, paint, lightly sand wipe everything down again and then do a second coat so up with the handles I am about to put together this new trash um, pull outs in the cabinet if you remember what our old one looked like and how nasty it was I'm replacing it despised when we moved in it just didn't make a lot of sense to me 
Now the people who lived here before us, well, they cut the laminate out of the countertop and glued a plastic cutting board on the countertop. Yeah. I think a cutting built-in cutting board would look nice if it was done correctly, but this was not a wood or bamboo cutting board that made it look nice. It was the glue was lifting. It was like food and gunk all stuck up underneath. It was nasty. It was nasty. So we begin by lifting the plastic cutting board off. And as you can see here, my daughter helped along. <laughs> Look at how nasty that glue and everything was. Disgusting. Um, after that, I went in, I sanded everything down and basically just like plastered on top. Went in, sanded that down, and then went back in with like wood filler and filled all of the gaps. And yeah, it made it super smooth so that I could paint my countertops. Um, so with the countertops, I use the Gianni marble countertops from Amazon. There are literally like 100 videos on YouTube that shows you in depth of how to do this process. Um, so yeah, I didn't go into detail or anything about it, but I painted everything down and then um, lightly painted gray uh, strokes, uh, lines, to give that marble effect. One thing I will say is when you're painting your lines, you want to make sure you are using a very light hand and make sure that your stripes are going the same way on all the countertops so that it looks cohesive. Um, after that, I let it dry and then I poured the epoxy on top and I cannot be happier with my results. It's literally a million times better than a dark laminate. <laughs> it's like, clear concrete there is very shiny the results are just amazing um so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and then i will make a part two of my backsplash and the final results and everything so see you guys in the next one